What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, LC. And today, I'm going to be trying to make a traditional boom bap hip hop beat using Serato sample. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. Superior Minds Entertainment. I got the sample loaded in. I pitched it up and I got my BPM set to about 85 because I was trying to get that little, you know, a little head knock vibe or whatever you want to call it. Anywho, so I pitched the sample up so I don't get copyright written, written, wrote, and write it, uh, whatever. I still might get it. Here's the sample. I drug it into Serato. I pitched it up. It says here plus seven semitones. And I'm going to play the sample for y'all. <laughs> I might speed that up a little bit. Let's see how it sounds sped up. I don't I don't have no drums. I don't have nothing picked out. And with Boom Bap, I really feel like drum selection is key. So, you know, um, trap drums will work. Quote, unquote, trap drums for people who don't know. Trap drums are the drums that everybody uses nowadays for their trap beats. They will work. I have made them work in the past. But if you want that authentic vibe, that primo, that Dilla, Ninth Wonder, you know, whoever you could think of that does this style. I just said Knife Wonder because he still does this style. J. Cole, they still do this sound and they're successful with it. Griselda Records, they definitely still do this sound and they're successful with it. And if you really want that sound, you gotta, the drum choice matters. They, they hardly ever use trap drums. They always use like live drums or drums from samples and records and stuff like that. So I haven't picked out any drums, so I still have to do that. I'm probably gonna just get a loop and then layer that loop with some more drum sound. So let's first of all figure out this sample. I sped it up to 170. I want to hear how that sounds. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna slow it back down. I'm gonna try to set random. All right, so I mean, let me get some drums. Let me get some drums. I got a whole lot of break beats, so. So I got this drum loop, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take what I can from. Let's see. We got here a kick. So this is the kick. And let's go ahead and take that. Boom, we got our kick. Let's get a snare. That's fine. And let's just see what we got here. And I heard another kick in here, a little accent kick right there. Let's go ahead and steal that. Boom. 
with these samples I got, I'm going to put them on E3 Generic. And then once I put them on E3 Generic, I'm going to just fade them out a little bit to get rid of the clicking. Boom. Boom. That's kind of what I'm going for now. Let me see if I can extract hi-hats from here. And I'm going to layer this. I can use that. And I'm going to do the same thing with that and fade it out a little bit. All right, so that's the loop, right? And we're gonna just go with that, and we're gonna loop it a few times, and let's see what we can come up with with this sample on top of that loop. So that's what I think I'm gonna do, but first I want to, let's record this drum sample real quick. All right, so we got the drum sample recorded. So now that I got my drums, what I like to do is run those guys through Serato. Now I say my drums are A flat minor, and here my um, sample is B. So let's bring that sample down one and bring the drums up one or up two. So we got B flat, and then I want my sample to be B flat. Okay, so now I'm going to re-record my drums into Edison. All right, so now we're going to hit boom, 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 and we got that. So that's basically how you make any drums fit with any sample, because any hip-hop producer will tell you that all drums don't go with all samples. This is what we got. So that's what we got, right? Now, let me delete that and go back to this sample.
I know for a fact I want that first part. So what I'm going to do is record it. All right, so I got that. Let me do that. Boom, boom. So now, I'm going to try to find something to put at the end here. Let's try that. Okay, so that's what we're going to go with. Let's go ahead and record that into Edison. All right, so we got that. Going to trim it, and then we're just going to drag that guy right in here. Slice, and let's see what we got. All right, so now that I got that, I'm going to go to, I don't know, one of these little bootleg Knife Wonder kits. And I'm going to try to line up some drums to overlay the other drum. So you see where I'm going with this? Boom. And uh, let me find a kick. Definitely. So, hi hat, let's find a hi hat. Boom, boom. Let's turn them down.
So now let's get a baseline. And the baseline is gonna come from where do I want it to come from? Let's try expand. So now we got expand, right? Bases. sample real quick. Seems like A sharp is the key. Since I know that it's G, let me go ahead and try to come up with a... And let me put this in here. Cut this guy. getting a scale in here and the scale is going to be let me see what serato said b flat so let's try a major scale b flat is a sharp so let's just get that scale in here and see yeah look at it Let's see how that sounds with these drums. All right, so now this beat needs mixing. So first of all, I'm gonna route everything to the boom, boom, boom. Starting from this track, and I'm gonna start with gain staging. Gain staging is very important. Don't forget to do it. Never, never, never mix in headphones, children. I mean, you can as a reference, but you wanna definitely mix out loud. Then put the headphones on and hear if you see if you hear anything that stands out to you. And mixing in mono. Let me turn this to mono. So when EQing, once you EQ, you need to bring your levels back down to where they're supposed to be at. I was uh, gain staging at around negative 12, so. Boom.
All right, so now what I want to do is come up with another melody. I'm going to copy the drums and see what I can come up with. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's record that in. Okay, so let's see how that sounds. So now let's record that and drop it in the timeline. So now that's just going to be like a breakdown to jump right back into the verses. And I'm going to put that on E3 generic. I'm going to route it to the same track as the other sample. And so I'm going to take these drums away. Okay, so yeah, that's just gonna put that there. And uh, I need some drum fills. I'm gonna use that one. That's the one I'm gonna use. That's gonna be my intro. So let's slide these past this one. Uh -oh. And then slide that back and let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me uh, E3 that their sample. Boom. Let me get it gang staged. Alright, so on this last bar right here, I'm going to put this part and see how that sounds. Boom! This is how we're going to do it. We're going to do regular, boom, boom. And then we're going to do like this. Let's copy this over. Alright. 
and let's take out the drums. Yeah. Let's take out the... And guess what? We still in mono because I forgot. So let's see how it sounds. Brief intermission. Good Lord. Good Lord. We got to say that. Shout out to Curtis King. I didn't drag in your, um, he has a free pack. Go check it out of, um, drum fills and they go hard. I just, I downloaded them with my phone and I never transferred them over to the PC. So definitely go check that out. It would have been much doper with one of his drum fills. But no, nah, that's the beat, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. That was making a boom bap beat using Serato sample. And there you have it. I'll play the beat at the end of the video. Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe, and I see y'all on the next video. Superior mind.